Welcome to a new lesson. So in this one, we are going to see a cool feature of Max, which will help us to districate ourselves in the great environment that is Max. Now in Max, we literally have thousands of objects and I want to show something to you. If we go here on the left of our patch, there is this sidebar. Now the third icon from the top, it's called objects. If we click on it, we can see all the objects that we have inside Max, including external objects that we installed from the package manager or we installed or objects that we created ourselves. And these are literally thousands of objects which achieve the most different results. So it's really a lot of stuff to know. Now, the good thing is that we don't need to remember exactly what every object does. We don't even need to know every object because of this cool feature in Max called the help file system. So let's see how it works. Let's take, for example, the plus operator. With the patch unlocked, if I right click on it, a menu appears and we are only interested for the moment in the first entry of this menu, which is the open name of the object, in this case, plus help. So I click on it and a new patch appears. Now this patch is a patch that is built in in Max and it's called an help file. In fact, the, as you can see, it has the extension Max help. Now this Max help patch has all the information about this object, all the information about the plus operator that we want to main know. So for example, it tells us that if you send a bang to it, you trigger the calculation, and then it tells us something more that we didn't see yet. And it also tells us which arguments this object takes. So it tells us everything that there is to know about this object. Now the plus operator is a pretty simple object, but for example, let's take the print object, which is a bit more complex. So I right click on it with the patch unlocked. I click on the first entry of the menu, which is open the help and a new patch appears. Now, as you can see, the print object is a bit more complex. So it's even have two tabs. This is the first tab and this is another tab, which show us some properties of this object. And it tells us everything that there is to know about the object. Also, we already saw that every object has a reference page. So if you want to have kind of a more in-depth view of what are the object properties, we just click on this icon that we saw in the previous video, reference, and we get a list of all the properties of the object. For example, which arguments it takes, which messages and which attributes, and also which similar objects exist in Max. Because sometimes maybe you want to do something, but the object that you are using is not the perfect one for the task. So if you open the reference page of every object, and this can be done also outside of the help file. We just have to click on an object, go on the reference, icon and we get the reference page. Now the C also sub menu, we show us all the similar objects to the one that we are examining. Because maybe, yeah, this is not the perfect one that we want to use and there are better suited objects for the task. So this is a neat feature of Max that allows us to explore objects and also familiarize with a big number of them just by exploring which ones are similar to each other and what do they do. So great, the help file is a very cool feature of Max. For example, let's take the help file of the button object. Every object has its own help file and it tells us exactly what every object does. So if you are opening the patch from somebody else and there are a bunch of objects that you don't know exactly what they do, then you can always open their help files. Um, now there is another way to open the help file that I want to show you, which is with the patch unlocked, you just press Alt or Option on the Mac and click on an object and this will open the help file as well. So let's write this in our shortcut list. So if we option or alt click on an object when the patch is unlocked, then we get the help file for that object. So in the future videos of this section, when you encounter some objects that you don't remember exactly what they do, you don't have to go back and watch the videos. You just have to open their help file and you will have immediately a clear explanation on everything that they do. So cool, this was it for this lesson. In the next one, we are going to see how to achieve floating point operations because for the moment we just work with integer numbers. So don't miss it and see you there. Ciao.